Right, so next up to install on Bertha, we've got these products here. Uh, Cowfish Technologies make these. Now, um, I said it in a previous video, but they hit us up after the reveal video of Bertha. And by that stage of the video coming out, I'd already torn off the uh, OneGuard antenna and was just planning on running no antenna and just using Starlink. But they said, hey, can we send you out our omnidirectional antenna. Now, what I love about it, it's literally, you mount it on the roof, plug it in, that is it. There is no aiming your antenna to try to pick up signal. It is up there, it picks it up from all different directions and heights. There's a lot to signals that I can't explain and don't really understand, but it just picks it up from every direction. So they look awesome too. You'll see these on a lot of new vans. They, uh, they supply a lot of manufacturers, so that's really cool. And then they've also sent us out this, the Van Connect 5G system. Now, this is an internet system. This is not a Starlink replacement for us. We have Starlink, we love Starlink. These guys know that. This is for us to install in the van and pretty much to give you guys a good comparison because Starlink is expensive. This is relatively inexpensive when we're talking monthly costs. So I won't go into detail now because we've never used it. I haven't installed it yet. We'll get it in the van, we'll run it for a while and then we'll do a good comparison on them. But essentially you've got your unit that goes inside. So that unit there gets mounted inside your caravan, has all these um, ports here for your antenna on the roof, and then it has your little Wi-Fi antennas that you'll plug into it too so that you can receive signal around the van and even outside. Um, I'm gonna mount that up in the cupboard up there. I've already run power for it. And then the antenna will sit at the very back of the van because it's quite a clear space and it leaves enough room if we wanna add extra solar panels later. Um, and then the van antenna itself, I'm going to install sort of right above here because that's where the original cable is, which I tuck back in the roof for the old wine guard antenna. So this is what you get with the van antenna. You've got your coax cable, your antenna itself, and just the mounting screws and a little spanner. So very, very simple. That's what I like about this. That is it. So that's light as anything only weighs a couple of kilos and it just sits on your roof. That is it. And they've made it the same height as standard air conditioning units. So you won't go any taller with your caravan, which is awesome. Um, now there are two options when you order these. You have a side mount for your coax cable like we have, or a bottom mount. Now the bottom mount is good if you know where your cable is coming through the roof because you can install that and then plop it down, straight down over the top of it and have no exposed cables. At the stage or at the time of them contacting us, I didn't know where else was going to sit. Uh, so I opted for the side option, which is fine. It just means my cable is going to be exposed a little bit and I'll have to seal it up when I install it. But that's it. That's an awesome looking um, antenna. And yeah, we'll get it installed on the roof and we'll see how it goes. All right, Vantenna all installed, and we have 60 plus channels. So that was really easy to install, literally just coax cable, four screws, bit of uh, silicon, just to seal it all up and hold it down. 
and it's done. Um, never have to touch the antenna again. I absolutely love that. Um, the simpler your setup and pack up can be, the better. And the amount of times people have left their wine guards up and forgotten about them, it's, it's happened and I've done it too. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll see how this goes out on the road in like more remote places, but very happy with it. So I've just installed some new water fillers. There's three of them. You got two there and then there's one more underneath the sink over here. Um, now I've installed those for a reason that you will see later, but the old ones were pretty buggered anyway, all different keys and whatnot. So um, brand new ones chucked in. Now, if you're ever going to put hoses onto new fittings, uh, hoses like this where they slide over it, here's the trick. So oh, it's rather tight in here, but I'm having a lot of trouble pushing it over, even with a bit of uh, vas on it. So the trick is boiling water. Oh, do it without burning yourself. But, oh, give me a sec, I'm gonna, ow. All right, limited on space. So, chuck your water in there. That was just from the kettle. And hold your pipe in it. And what that'll do is it'll soften the pipe and it'll slide over really easily. And then when it cools down, it'll be nice and tight. Should be long enough. Look at that, straight on. Just let that cool down for a sec. And repeat with the other ones. Okay, so here's what we're doing now, guys. We got our five water tanks under the caravan. You got two here and then I got three rear of the axle. Now, what I was going to do was pull down one of those tanks, bring it to the front, and that was gonna be the gray water tank. But I've changed my mind because now that I've hopped under here, I think this one will be perfect for the uh, gray water because we've got our waste pipe that everything is connected to from that way as well, running into it. So I can just tee off straight here into this one. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling off all the fittings. So the water feed, the breather hose, um, because it was teed in with this tank. So these two were in parallel and I'm just gonna replace all those with elbows so that it's just the pumps now just drawing from this one. Um, and then this one will be capped off and just turned into the gray water. So this is probably my least favorite part, but funnily enough, Plumbing was the main job I did when I was building caravans. So I spent most of my days on my back on a creepy crawly though. I can't do that here because I'm on grass, but that's what I used to do. But um, I don't know, it was so long ago, I feel like I've lost a fair bit of that knowledge. But you know, the more I'm getting under here and just looking at things and playing around, I'm remembering stuff. So anyway, that's the plan. I've separated these now. So now I've just got to go get some fittings so that I can turn that into the gray water and this into its own water tank. And then I'll show you what I've done inside with the water pump. So this here is one of two water pumps that was in here. The other one was sitting just there, but I've already removed it. So that second water pump was drawing from the rear three tanks and it was pumping to only the filtered water tap, that little tap over there. Now that was to me, uh, a bit of a waste. I don't know why it was set up like that, but I think that was added on after uh, factory. So what I've done is I've removed that pump and I've plumbed in those tanks to this one water pump and then plumbed in the fitting to go up to the water filter. I've also put a new water filter in there, which is that fella. The old one was leaking pretty bad. Um, so what happened was last night I finished off the grey water tank. It got really dark. I couldn't keep filming, but I just wanted to get it done. So I sorted all that out, um, which is good. So out of the five tanks that we had originally, we now have four uh, of drink or not drinking fresh water and one grey water tank. Now I did originally say that I was probably going to eliminate one tank and just have three fresh water tanks. But what I've done is we've got taps separating all the tanks, except for uh, two of them are plumbed in together. So there's three taps there, so I can isolate them all. My plan is to just not run one of the tanks. 
reason being is very recently um, the laws have changed with post rego GCM upgrades. So if we do eventually get a GCM upgrade on the Ranger, we will have plenty of uh, payload to be able to have four tanks full. Um, but for now, we know that'll be too heavy, so we'll just isolate one. Other reason being is, uh, you know, down the line when we end up selling this thing, someone might buy it who has a bigger car and they can have those four water tanks. So just having the provision there to use that is better than getting rid of a tank because it doesn't weigh that much with the whole tank set up staying under there. And worst case scenario, I can remove it later anyway. But um, yeah, so that's what I've done. Plumbed all that in. That's the top agree sender unit to count the liters. It's not the neatest setup. Um, I used to really pride myself on doing the water pumps. I'd run all the wiring neatly and stuff, but um, this was a bit of a shamozzle to start off with. So I'm just sort of working with it. I'll tidy up that wiring later, but we're just in a rush to get on the road. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy. Done uh, pressure tested everything. Everything's all good now. Ran the washing machine, that works sweet. So yeah, very happy. All the water is good. Time to just finish the, off the last few things. Righto, so we've got one more modification to do to Bertha and then we are ready to hit the road. Everything else is done. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is one thing that not a single person out there with a caravan would say that they would not want it on theirs. I'm just putting it out there. Let me know if I'm wrong. If you say, no, I wouldn't have this set up. Uh, basically, it comes in this small box. That's, that's how small it is. But what we're doing is we're gonna take this bundle of keys that most people run with this kind of setup with their caravans, you know how many different locks you've got and when you get your hand over, you get this pile of keys. We're gonna turn that into this one single key. So the guys from One Key Caravan, they got onto us recently and they said, hey, let's help you out with all those keys and all those different locks so they asked me what we had on the van we went through we told them every single lock that we had and then they went and sent us out uh key to like versions of those locks that is to uh why we changed the hatch at the front Apart from it being stuffed, we changed that to a Thetford hatch along with the one at the back being a Thetford because they can key those. Um, the front door, anything like that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, the T handle on the front boot where the battery system is and two locks for our picnic table. Uh, initially they thought they wouldn't be able to do the picnic table because newer ones are sealed but we looked into it a bit more and they said yeah we can do that so we've got two locks for that now for now the only thing we'll have different keys for uh, these keys here they are for our water fillers now i told you earlier when i was installing those water filters that i changed them for a reason and that's because one key are coming out with a new cap with a lock that replaces those. That's why I went for that specific brand. They are just waiting for them. They're, they're in the development stage. As soon as they're ready, they'll send those out to us. And then we'll literally have one key for the whole caravan. I just think that is amazing. We're, we're so used to carrying this around, but I will just literally put this one key with the car key. That's it, that's all I need. Anyway, um, it's meant to be really simple to install. So I'll get out there. Um, start installing this all, and then I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. Righto, one down, and that was uh, pretty easy. It was a little bit confusing to start off with, but once I figured out how to get that barrel out, and then getting the other one back in wasn't too bad. But there you go, that key will be the same for everything. So you would have noticed by that footage that I ended up working into the night. <laughs> what happened was I had a mate come around. Um, 
ended up having a few beers, just got distracted, really. It happens, okay? You all know it happens. Anyway, got them all fully installed. They were all quite easy. If, um, if I just worked out the time that I actually spent doing them, which I did off the camera, it's about half an hour altogether. So half an hour to swap out your whole bundle of keys, throw them in the bin and swap them out to one key. I think that's pretty good. So massive thank you to the guys at One Key Caravans. If you wanna do the same thing to your caravan, make sure you hit them up. We'll put their uh, link in the description. Uh, send them an email. They will ask you all the questions about your locks and stuff on your van, and then they will get a plan for you. Well worth it, I reckon. Righto, guys, I just wanna show you this. We've just received a big package, and Oh, a big package. Oh. Everyone loves a big package. Oh, I love a big package. <laughs> I love this big package. Hey, um, this is exciting. So the guys from Meet at Billy's, um, they've hit us up. So we're actually mates with the manager that works there. Um, so shout out Brad. <laughs> but um, uh, Billy, who owns the joint, hit us up, uh, well, hit Brad up and said, hey, can we give them some meat to take away? Because we're about to head up north. And we're like, yeah. Of course. Of course you can give us meat. <laughs> We're not going to say no. Um, anyway, have a look at this. So, he walked in with his bag at first and I was like, oh, cool. It's got a couple of steaks or something in it. Anyway, that just had these rubs. So, that's a company they work with. So, what's that one? The Great All Rounder Rub and SPG. So, Salt, pepper, and garlic. I had a look. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, this looks like me. <laughs> and a couple of stubby coolers, a beer. They've got their own beer, uh, Butcher's Lager, and it's actually tasty as. It is really nice. Yeah, that's actually made by Happy Valley Brewing, who we've been there. Um, really good brewery. Anyway, let's unveil what we've got. Do you want to do it? Da 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 da. I'll better move the ice out yeah, of the way. It doesn't look as impressive with the ice packs. Look at this, would ya? There is so much meat in here. So we've got all kinds of sausages. Then there's all sorts of burgers. So we've got like lamb, mint and halloumi, which sound right up my alley. That looks awesome. Would you have a look? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at it. Look, look at the size at of it. that. I that. can't wait to have a go at that. So I've actually got to get a meat probe to cook that. Yep. Because I cannot. Oh, you have to, do you? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wing that okay. though. That's that's not a wingable cook. And there's a picanha, which you all know we love picanha. Love a picanha. Wow. Man, this is so good. There's a chicken in here. Oh. So, be eating well. Meet at Billy's. They're Brisbane based, but you can jump on their website. We'll put the link in the description. Um, seriously good meat, like. They, everyone talks about meat at Billy's around Brizzy. So one of the best butchers around. They've won so many awards. Um, I cannot wait to start cooking some of this Neither. stuff. Neither. It is going to be so good. But yeah, jump on their website. If you want to get some meat, um, yeah, jump on there and you can order online. All right, so we're just putting the finishing touches on the van before we start packing it, ready to go away. So I've just put all my decorative stuff up. Um, I'll show you it all a bit later. It's never going to look like this again, so I'll make sure I take heaps of video while it looks good. But you know us, we're not exactly the cleanest people around, so I don't expect that it's going to look like this ever again. Um, but so I've just put some of these vinyl sticker photo things up. So they're from Wonder Made decals, I think. Um, and the last thing I need to do is I've got some fusion lock for the bathroom. So in our little shower unit, there's not, there's no shelves. Um, and we were a little bit concerned with the texture of the wall that the fusion lock might not stick, but we have tried one um, and it seems to stick fine. So hopefully once we've got a bit of weight in it, it'll be all good. But once I put that in, that's pretty much it. We're ready to pack and be off finally.
that's it. The final piece. She's all done. <gasps> wow. Well, let's not keep you hanging. Let's get inside. So that's her guys. What do you think? Do you like it? Would you have done anything different? Uh, but like, I'm lost for words. I am, <laughs> I am absolutely stoked. We are so happy with how it turned out. Um, I don't know. I don't, it feels so homely. It does. Like that's the difference between this and the last van. Mm. That was really new and flash and everything, but this feels like our home. We made this. Yeah, it's got character. Yeah. And like a little bit quirky, just like us. And I don't know. <laughs> I really A little like bit rough it. around the edges like us. <laughs> <laughs> As if. You're a perfectionist. There's nothing rough here. No, there's rough stuff. But you'll have to find it yourself, won't you? <laughs> okay, so cost. We told you to start off with, we paid 37500 for Bertha. Uh, we then spent another, what was the battery system? 14,000, mm -hmm. so that was a large chunk. Um, so where we ended up up around, would you say 60? I'm gonna say 60, 62. Yeah, we're not great at bookkeeping. We didn't no. keep exact numbers, we won't lie to you. No, and we did, um, as you will have seen, we did get given a lot of items. Um, so that definitely helped keep the budget down, but I think that battery system uh, was a big chunk of it that I personally wasn't expecting. Yeah, yeah, but you could do it without that battery system. We did oh, mention yeah. that in the video. Yeah, if you watch the battery system video, we've like kind of said how you can cut that down. Also with like some of the Renaults, I mean, you didn't have to do half the stuff that we did. Definitely, so yeah. We just, we just love the process and mm. wanted to do it and yeah, see what we could make of it. So if we're talking actual costs, like if you add in all those things that we got gifted, you're probably looking around that 65,000, which I still think is great for what we have. Oh yeah, it's like, I mean, we're living in a 24 foot like van and it's fully decked out with everything you, you could possibly need. Mm. And yeah, it's so comfortable. I can't even stress to you, like I'm absolutely in love with it. So we just want to take a moment now to thank everybody. Now that comes down to people who donated stuff for the van, people who helped us physically with the van, um, you guys for watching all your comments letting us know different things we should do yeah like, or like products help. we could try or just like your support and the love on the whole idea of bertha has been really cool it's been amazing like mm. you guys have got right behind us with yeah. this one and we've had a blast it's like, been amazing yeah I'd, like i said we love the process yeah of renovating and it's been so much fun um stressful but fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> Good stress. Good stress. <laughs> I've been stressing a long time, but <laughs> we got a bit stressed. We went over time and like slightly over budget for what we wanted to spend. Yeah. And obviously nothing has happened kind of as easily as we would have liked, but yeah. we got there. We yeah. got there in the end. So make sure you stay tuned. We will do a full walk around of Bertha, show you like everything that we've done inside and outside. All the products uh, will be on the road by then, so we'll yep. be using all the stuff. So yep. it's, it's good enough to sit here and tell you how good something is, but we've used it in our driveway. So yeah, we get out we there. We definitely have a few things that we actually need to road test before we were like, yes, it's awesome, or yep. whatever. <laughs> and I'm sure there'll be some things that we change. So if there's anything mm. you've seen in this and you think you'd do differently, let us know. 
Yeah. Or if you've got anything that you've got more questions about that we haven't covered, sure, hit us up. Mm. So once again, thank you very much to everybody who has followed along on this journey. Um, don't go anywhere because we're hitting the road now. We are actually going places now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> going north. So stick around. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Make sure you like and subscribe to follow us on our trip up north. Yep. Hit that bell. You'll see uh, when a video comes up. Uh, merch online. Patreon. Thank you very much. <laughs> see you next week. Bye.